Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last two videos, we have explored building combo boxes that allow users to select a single item. Today, we will take things up a step further and create a multi select combo box component using Vue.js and Tailwind CSS. This will give users the flexibility to choose multiple options at once. In real life scenarios, we can observe this in Amazon when we apply multiple filters to get the products that we want, and also when you sign up for a blog. In most blogs, they ask you to choose your interests and based on the interest, they will send you the articles. So uh, that's what we will be building today. If you haven't seen the previous combo box tutorials, I definitely recommend that you check them out because in this video, I will only explain the differences that are not covered in the previous videos. All the aspects are almost same except one or two. It just looks like repetition of the tutorial if I explain everything again. So definitely check them out. I've included the links in the description for your convenience. Let me show you the demo here. On the left, we have this drop down button, which is the box container. So when we click on that, we'll see this drop down options with the search functionality and the done button, which is in this absolute div on the right. So when we search for something, it shows those results. And uh, when we click on the checkbox, it is selected. And if we click again, it is deselected. The same functionality is given to this uh, entire div. You can click on the div as well and it will select and it will deselect. And if it is, if there are more than uh, two items that are selected, then it will show the uh, count instead of the names. And when you click on done or when you click outside the drop down, it closes. So for the done in real life, you can actually attach a submit function where you want to perform the logic connecting to database or whatever you want to do. Now for now, I just added the close function here. So done close. Let me show you in the script setup uh, what I changed. The two things that are changed is this uh, function to select the tag and then the selected tags variable in the previous example where we were selecting only one item uh, we just uh, initialized it as the string but now we are storing multiple values in the selected tags so i am initializing this as a array as an array in the function select tag first we are checking if the tag is already selected and if it is selected then we are removing it from the array which helps us in this toggling so whenever we deselect something it is removing the value from the selected tags and hence we can see only the remaining tags and else if it is not selected then we will push the value push the tag to the selected tags array so that's what is happening and uh, let me explain this ui part here this is the place uh, on click we are just toggling the drop down which did not change but the only thing that changed is the display of these uh, tags before it was just item or uh, choose your item something like that now uh, we have multiple items what we are doing is we are using the selected tags length property and based on that length we are showing these items if there is any item inside the selected tags then we are showing the item using the v4 loop so everything we are showing however if the selected tax length is greater than two then we are showing the count i added the plus string here and then total length of the selected tax minus two because these two we are showing it as text here so only the remaining things we are showing it as a count so that's all uh, we have a multi select combo box now i know i went fast and uh, skipped many things only because they were covered in detail in the previous two videos so definitely uh, don't forget to check them out and remember the complete code is available for free on my website it even has the dark mode and also the accessibility features for screen readers feel free to leave any questions or suggestions for future tutorials in the comments below and i'll try my best to do them thank you for watching